Hey guys, check it out. I found another really cool game for us to play. Oh, for God's sake, Joe, why does literally every game that you pick in some way involve anime girls? I promise it's nothing bad, Donald. I just really like the way that they look is all. Can you seriously say to me that you don't at all think that they are kind of cute? Aren't anime girls designed to look like cats? Is this you finally being able to admit that you're a furry? No, Barack, I didn't mean it like that, I swear. Oh, just shut up already, Joe. It doesn't take a genius to understand the fact that you are a total fucking weirdo. Let's just play this stupid anime game that you found so that we can get back to playing something that is actually cool. All right, well, I think that you guys are gonna really like this one. It's a game that is all about love. Oh, we're gonna have such a good time. Isn't this game still unfinished? I swear, I remember hearing that this game has been in development since Joe was still a child, and it still doesn't even have the first section of the game finished yet. Oh, but we can still have fun, Barack. Let's just take a look and see what it's got. Whoa, what the hell is this? There's been a finished version of the game added? How the hell have I not heard about this? The better question is, why is there what is essentially a fully finished sequel to the game that's been finished before the actual game even has its first section completed? Well, we're definitely going to be giving this mode a try. Every night, for as long as I can remember, I have been having the same dream. In this dream, I meet a boy, fall in love with him, start a family, and live happily ever after. I've always believed that this dream was showing me my future, showing me the person I'll be with for the rest of my life. I spent years fantasizing about what it would be like to finally meet him. And then, one year ago, I found him. The boy from my dreams is in the same school as me, but I'm too afraid to speak to him because I'm worried that I'll ruin everything and make him hate me. So, for the past year, I've been admiring him from afar while I built up enough courage to speak to him. He's my soulmate, my destiny. But while we're at school, he's just my senpai. I was having so much fun watching him, learning everything about him and planning our life together. But then, Someone had to come and ruin everything. She's trying to take him from me. And I won't let her get away with it. Joe, I thought you said that this game was all about love. It is, Donald. We have got to make sure that no one can love our senpai as much as we do. Well, that sounds a hell of a lot like taking out the competition, Joe. As the best businessman to ever grace the face of business, I can get behind doing that a lot more than something for you beta males like love. You guys are both completely fucking insane. Can we just play the fucking game and try not to have you two bozos get too caught away with doing your weird motivations? Hating motivations sounds like the mentality of one of those brokies. Get your money up, not your funny up, Barack. The only thing that is going up today is my schlong after your wife paid me a visit. You fucking spray tanned orangutan. Guys, chill out for a second. I think that we're supposed to find wherever Senpai is right now. Where the hell are we supposed to be going, though? Joe, are you fucking blind, deaf, and autistic? Can you not fucking read that massive text on the top that's telling us exactly how to find out wherever the hell that it's trying to take us? Oh, shut up, Donald. You know that my eyesight has been going downhill for years. There's no need to be making fun of me for it. There is always a need to be making fun of your wrinkly, shriveled up ass, Joe. And don't you dare ever say anything about it. All right, can you two love birds stop arguing already? There's gotta be something in here for us to do, right? Well, it looks like it's trying to get us to go outside now. Wait, what the hell? Can this stupid fucking line just make up its goddamn mind already? Ooh, look guys, we got a knife. Oh, are we gonna try and cook some nice food for Senpai? Maybe that will be what wins him over. Joe, you were the one that picked this fucking game. Are you seriously going to tell me that you don't actually know what the game is obviously going to be making us do with this thing? Well, no. What is it going to make us do with it, Barack? Joe, you fucking idiot. Obviously, it is going to make us take some bitch out with it. There is no room for people who can't get this type of shit done in this world. The first thing that they taught us in business school was that it is either kill or be killed. And you had better bet your frail little ass that I'm going to be doing all of the killing. 
Donald, stop being so fucking weird about this. Have you not seen all of the ghostly students around the place? This is obviously some kind of dream that we're in so that the game can show us what the fuck it is that we are actually going to be doing. There isn't going to be anyone actually dying because of whatever we're going to be doing in here. Wait, so you're telling me that there isn't going to be any killing? Well, what the fuck is the point of playing this dumbass game if I can't send some stupid anime bitch to the Shadow Realm? Joe, this might just be the worst game that you have ever suggested, and that is saying a lot. Oh, shut up already, Donald. Why can't you just trust me that this game is going to be fun? Just give it at least 10 minutes before you go saying that it's the worst thing that you have ever seen. Can you guys stop having a goddamn hissy fit while I'm doing all of the actual work? Donald, I just made some body bags. We're probably going to be killing someone. It just won't be happening in the real world. Fine, whatever. It's telling us to get into this bathroom stall anyway. Let's just kill the dream bitch and get back to the real world so that we can start killing some of these dumbass anime bitches for real. Ooh, look. There's one of them now. Oh, she is so pretty, guys. Do you think that we could go over there and try talking to her first? Joe, you fucking weeaboo. I'm taking this total heathen out of this world faster than your wrinkly ass can crap your pants Whoa. about it. <sighs> Ryobachan, are... are you the person who left that note in my locker? What did you want to talk to me about? I need to tell you something about the boy you have feelings for. Uh, you know who I have a crush on? Oh, it's so embarrassing! Well, what is it? Did you want to tell me? Oh, you see, guys? She's so nice. Oh, I wonder if maybe we could become friends someday and maybe Kill even... the bitch! Yeah, get her dumb anime ass! You can't have him. He belongs to me. Ah! No! I was going to have such a nice life with her. Joe, you were literally the one that picked this game. Are you telling me that you didn't understand the smallest little bit about it before suggesting it? If you aren't ready to kill some anime girls, then you really aren't going to like this game. Speaking of liking this game, this is fucking awesome. This might just be the best game that you have ever picked, Joe. Credit where credit is due. This is fucking amazing. Oh, shut up, Donald. Don't you feel even just the slightest bit bad about killing that poor girl? She could have been our soulmate for all we know. And now she's gone. Doesn't that at least make you feel the slightest bit sad? Not even a little bit, Joe. The less of those weeaboo pricks that there are in the world, the better. Now let's clean up all of this blood before anyone finds us. The first thing that they teach us in business school is that it is perfectly okay to do literally anything so long as you don't get caught doing it. Donald, I am pretty sure that you have said about three different lessons from business school that we're all first today. Are you going senile or just lying? Don't let your peers get the full story, Barack. That was the first thing that they taught us back in business school. Whatever, Donald. Let's just get rid of this body already. I'm pretty sure that I remember there being an incinerator on this map just outside. Oh, come on, guys. Can't we at least bury her or something? If we're gonna kill her, then can't we at least let her go out with a little bit of dignity still intact? Joe, we are talking about a bunch of weeaboo anime girls here. They never had any dignity to begin with. A world with one less of these things is a world that is slightly better than the one we had while they were here. This bitch doesn't deserve any kind of dignifying burial. She's honestly lucky to be getting the incinerator even. That poor incinerator is gonna to have to touch something as disgusting as a goddamn weeaboo. Donald, we get it already. You don't like anime. You don't need to keep going on 20 minute rants about how disgusting they are. Look. We're at the incinerator now. Let's just dump the body and get out of this weird dream place already. Oh, goodbye, my dear. Maybe in another life, things could have been different. If there is a next life, then I will find you in it and we can finally be as happy as we were always meant to be. All right, well, if you're done confessing your love to a corpse, then I think the game is gonna make us incinerate our uniform too. I think we need to head to our locker and grab a new set of clothes before we can turn the incinerator on. Wait. So we're gonna have to watch this pretty little thing here change? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to make sure that Jill isn't watching for this bit. Wait, we can't show this on YouTube. Oh, calm the hell down, guys. It's obviously censored. 
They're not going to let you see the full nudity of school kids in a video game of this size. I think we've just got to take a shower before we change into our gym clothes so that no one gets suspicious of why we're completely covered in blood. Maybe we could just try telling them that it's our time of the month or something? We're a woman, aren't we? Why are we having to go through all of this effort? Well, that shows how much you know about women, Donald. There is no way that anyone would believe us for a second if we told them that. Oh, shut the fuck up, Joe. I know infinitely more about women than you. I get more bitches than you have tumors, you shriveled up piece of shit. All right, we're all done in here now. Let's get these old clothes to the incinerator and get rid of all of the evidence. I'm pretty sure that there isn't going to be anything linking us to the crime once we get rid of all of this. Oh, but how are we supposed to live with the guilt of knowing what we've done? Aren't we going to feel anxious for the rest of our life, having to constantly be looking over our shoulder to make sure that no one is on to us? Joe, stop being such a goddamn sissy about everything. If I went and let all the bad stuff I do get to me, then I would have stopped going outside decades ago. What the hell are we doing right now anyway? Why is it talking about some kind of sanity meter? I feel just as sane as I ever have. <laughs> Ooh, what are we laughing about? Did someone say a funny joke? Oh, I love funny jokes. Oh gosh, gee golly willikers, that was so funny. Joe, just shut the hell up and stop making an ass of yourself already. Hey, Ryobachan? I saw you take a knife out of the cooking club. Why did you do that? Shit! We're busted! We gotta kill everyone here before any of them have a chance to tell anyone else. Calm the hell down for a second, Donald. Let's just try talking to her first. Maybe we can lie our way out of this. Oh, that knife actually belonged in the home ec room. I was just putting it back where it belonged. Holy moly, that was a close one. We would have been seriously screwed if she told anyone about us. Let's get the hell out of here before anyone else sees us doing anything suspicious. You don't got to tell me twice. Looks like it's the end of the school day now anyway. Let's get the ever-living fuck out of here and get back to the real world so that we can start killing some of these weeaboo assholes for real. Donald, it's starting to get seriously concerning just how into the whole violent murder part of the game you are. It's starting to seem like whatever business school you went to taught you how to hire a hitman as its second lesson. That is obviously not the case, Barack. They taught us that if we're going to kill someone, then it is always going to be better to just do it yourself. A brokey like you could never understand something like that. Oh, thank God, we made it. It's all over now. I really thought that someone was going to figure out what was going on back there. After I disposed of the girl who was trying to steal my senpai, I cleaned up all the evidence. I left no trace of what I had done, or so I thought. When the police investigated the girl's disappearance, they found a single blood stain that I failed to clean up. This was enough to make the police begin investigating the girl's disappearance as a possible murder case. A potential murder at an elite school was big news. It was a stain on the school's prestigious reputation. The headmaster didn't take it very well. I heard that he struck a deal with the police to keep any future investigations as discreet as possible. The faculty and the student council will be on high alert from now on. I'll need to be more careful in the future. But I can't rest yet. Another threat has appeared. She plans to confess her feelings to my senpai at 6 p.m. on Friday. I need to stop her before then. If I kill every girl who shows an interest in my senpai, I might attract more police attention to the school. So, even though I'm tempted to plunge a knife into her heart, perhaps I should consider avoiding bloodshed. I should eavesdrop on their conversations. I might be able to learn some valuable information. In fact, with a little bit of sabotage, I might be able to ruin their budding relationship and make my senpai lose all interest in her. Wait, so we're not supposed to just kill her? Well, where the hell is the fun in that? If I wanted a peaceful resolution to this, then I could just pay her to fuck off. Why can't we just ax the bitch and deal with the consequences later? You literally just got told why, Donald. Let's just figure out how we can get rid of her without having to get our hands dirty. 
You see, now this is what I was wanting from this game. We don't have to kill anyone. We just need to show our senpai that we are the only girl that is perfect for him. If we do that, then we can leave the rest to fate. Love will always triumph in the end. Love can triumph over my hairy nutsack, you senile bitch. How are we supposed to have any fun here if we can't take some more of these weeaboo freaks out permanently? Put it this way, Donald. Treat it like we're trying to make a business deal and you have to pit everyone against each other so that you can get the best deal possible. You crafty bastard, Barack, I'm in. Let's get in there and show this bitch exactly why she should stay right the fuck out of my way. Is it just me or does it still sound like he's gonna try and kill her? I have absolutely no idea, Joe. But I don't think that we're going to get him any more okay with what's going on than this, so I'm willing to take that chance. Oh, look, we can spy on their conversation from over here. Yeah, what's up? I made a bento for my sister this morning, but she left the house without it. I don't want it to go to waste. Would you like to have it? Oh, sure, I'd be happy to. Great, here it is. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. I'll keep it on my desk for now and eat it at lunchtime. Okay, so at 5.15 p.m., let's meet up back here so you can tell me how it tasted. All right, sounds like a plan. Yay, I'm looking forward to it. All right, so what's the goal then? Are we gonna head down to his desk and take a hot steamy shit in his lunch or something? Wait, who the hell is this guy over here? Try Looks like some kind of detective. Well, he had better stay out of my way. Now, where can we find some laxatives? I've got one hell of a storm brewing to unleash all over this shitty little bento box. Donald, for crying out loud, we're not going to be shitting in the goddamn bento box. Obviously, we're gonna to have to find something to add to it to make it taste horrible. I bet there's going to be something for it over in that cooking club that we were at earlier. Wait a second, Barack. Maybe Donald is actually onto something there. We're not shitting in the goddamn bento box. No, Barack. I'm talking about the laxatives. Maybe if we can spike the food with some laxatives or something, then he'll blame what's her face for poisoning him. That's a stupid idea, Joe. It would be way easier if we just use the laxatives ourselves and make a mud pie out of this asshole's lunch. Well, I think that it is actually a pretty good idea, Joe. First, let's go and find wherever this guy's desk is. Once we find it, then we can start searching for ways to sabotage it. So we've just got to wait for this senpai guy to get to his desk? Yeah, that does sound kind of boring, to be completely honest. Why don't we try fast forwarding so that we don't force the viewers to watch us standing around and waiting for him? Good idea. Fast forward time. All right, that looks like it's his desk. I guess now we have to go looking around. I'm willing to bet that there's going to be some kind of pharmacy around here that'll have something that we can spike the food with. Well, this looks like some kind of lab. Maybe we could try harnessing our inner Walter White and make something to spike it with in here. There's just a whole bunch of chemicals all over the place. Maybe we could just use one of these. They have sciencey sounding names. Maybe one of them makes for a good laxative. Well, this is saying that this one is good for giving someone a headache. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds perfect for spiking his food with. Great. So we got everything that we need, right? We can go back over there and get our man back. I'm not convinced yet, Joe. Let's just get all of the other chemicals from around here and see what happens if we start mixing them all together. He might just be able to shrug off a headache as having nothing to do with the food. We got to make sure that whatever we put in there really makes him feel it. Donald's actually got a pretty good point there. We should probably try and make something that's a bit more potent so that we can guarantee he blames it on the food. These two look like they could go together pretty well. Hell yeah, this is just like Breaking Bad. Wait, what does that say? You don't have a high enough knowledge in chemistry to mix these? Oh man, well there goes our plans. Is this game seriously trying to tell me that I'm not smart enough for this shit? I swear to God, I'm gonna sue whoever made this game into the fucking ground. Does he not know who the fuck I am? I am the big D motherfucking Trump. This weeaboo asshole can kiss my infinitely richer than him ass. Calm down, Donald. Let's just go and see if we can add some of the stuff that we already picked up. We have all of these chemicals, remember? Maybe one of them will work as is. Well, it sure as hell doesn't look that way, Barack. The option is still red for us. 
This game is such a piece of shit. Why can't we just mix the damn chemicals anyway? If we already have them, then what skill does it take to add one bottle to another? It's probably got something to do with the doses, Donald. Look, though, there's another lab down here. It looks like we can make the poison that we need if we can just find the seeds for it. All right, well, let's just cut to when we find the seeds. I'm sure that there will be some outside. We can get this done and get our man back in like 30 seconds tops. Jesus fucking Christ, guys. We've been searching for these goddamn seeds for like 30 minutes now. I'm pretty sure that the window to poison the food is already passed now anyway. Yeah, I am pretty sure too, Donald. Let's just do our last class for the day and end the day already. We can just cut to the next day. Oh man, I really thought the seeds would have been outside. Oh, hang on a second, guys. I just had another idea. Joe, you know what we've told you about using that gaping hole that you call a head of yours? Don't, I know, but listen. Maybe we should try raising our reputation before going home today. If we have a better reputation, then we might be able to get some people to help us with whatever we have to sabotage tomorrow. That is actually a pretty good idea, Joe. Maybe we could even try using our reputation with people to lower our rival's reputation enough that Senpai will reject her at the end of the week. This sounds like a metric shit ton of effort. My vote is still on us just luring her to some back room and cutting the bitch. She can't take our man away from us if she's fucking dead. For God's sake, Donald, we're not fucking killing her. The intro made it pretty clear that killing isn't an option this time. Let's just try to raise our reputation for now. First, we've just got to figure out however the fuck we're actually supposed to do that. Let's just try gossiping about her for now. Maybe we can learn something that way. That guy had a task, you idiots. Let's do that first. Don't make fun of me for saying this, but I have a crush on a girl, and I want to give her a romantic gift. I heard that she loves roses, so I've decided to find a rose and give it to her. I think I remember hearing something about a rose bush somewhere on school grounds. I've looked everywhere, but I just can't find it. I'm starting to doubt that it even exists. All right, we get the picture, Barack. So we have to go and find a rose for this guy. Since when did we become the errand runner for school kids that are too blind to find a fucking rose bush? Since now, apparently. Let's fast forward from here. If the seeds is anything to go by, then this could take a while. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Fast forward time. Oh, thank God we found it. I was starting to think that this was going to be another seed situation where we just never find it at all. Yeah, I was honestly getting there too. Let's get this rose back to that guy from earlier and get this over with. I'm willing to bet that the girl that this dude is talking about is our rival. Maybe if we can hook them up properly, then maybe we won't have to do any of this reputation bullshit with her. Well, first we've got to actually figure out whoever the fuck it was that actually gave us this quest. Every single student here looks like they are exact carbon copies of literally every other student here. Does anyone remember who the guy that gave us the quest even is? I have no idea, Donald. Let's just see if he's still at the same place that he was at earlier. Ooh, this is definitely him. Here's your rose, mister. All right, so what exactly is this going to do for us? Are we able to let him loose on our rival now or something? Well, let's just try talking to him again. Maybe there's some kind of way for us to ask if our rival is the girl that he's going for. Ooh, yes, here we are. Is this the girl that you have the hots for, mister? Oh, you can tell? Yes, I have a crush on her. Well, that should make this whole thing a hell of a lot easier. Don't worry, guys, leave this bit to me. If there's one thing that the Big D Trump is best at, it's picking up chicks. I'll show this loser how it's done, and then we won't have to worry about our rival anymore. And how exactly do you plan on doing that, Donald? I remember seeing something in the library where we could help a suitor to raise their intelligence or something. We can finish off today by raising this bozo's stats, and then maybe doing a couple extra favors before we end the day. All right, well, that sounds like a pretty good plan. Let's skip forward to when we finish so that the viewers don't have to watch us run around in circles for another 30 minutes. All right, but I want to do something a little artsy with it this time. All right, check this out. Jump. Cut! Aha, you see, guys? That was pretty cool, wasn't it? The magic of editing really is awesome. Shut up, Joe. The underpaid British guy that we forced to edit these things has got enough on his plate without having to deal with your senile ass. Just get to narrating the damn conversation already. Would you, um, like to walk home together? Sure, I'd be happy to.
Yay, let's go. Well, that sure as hell isn't a very good sign. We had better be able to make up for lost time tomorrow. At this rate, they're going to have a budding romance before we ever get the chance to stop them. I think that so long as we put all of our eggs into the other guy-shaped basket, then we might still be able to pull it back regardless. Either way, though, let's just get ourselves home for now. I hope you're right about that one, Barack. I don't know what I would do with myself if Senpai were to ever end up with anyone else. You would be doing the exact same stuff that you've always been doing, Joe. Stop being so weird about this. We've only got four more days to get this right and get this weirdo loser to pick up our rival. We had better make sure we get this right tomorrow, because if we don't, we're fucked. Well, there's only one way to find out, Donald. Let's get out the door and back to school. I'm feeling pretty confident that we're going to be able to help this guy get the girl. What the heck did you get us in this time, Joe? I know you wanted to play more Yander shit, but we really have to stop digging a hole for ourselves this time. Why would you love this psychotic girls? What's there not to love? I love everything about this girls. They're so obsessed, and I want Jill to be like that with me. I'd want her to slap a reporter if she ever gets close to me. It's my ideal wife. Oh my God, we should have never introduced you to a game like this, Sleepy Joe. Now look at you. You're becoming obsessed with these girls more than they'd be obsessed with the guys they love. Shh, just shut up. I mean, I can't comprehend what you guys are feeling right now because I won the last game we played with this concept and just learned to accept that big W I did. Oh no, Senpai and this new pink-haired bitch is trying to get it on with our love of our lives. Get the hell away from our Senpai. No one is taking him away from us. Whoa, whoa, looks like the two of you are really getting into the character and I love where this is going, so count me in. She just borrowed a book from our Senpai and she has to stop this. Ain't no way would I let you return that damn book that you just borrowed, you pink bitch. Jill, if you're watching this, please treat me like this because this is such a huge turn on for me. Ayo, hey, chill the frick out, Joe. You can't just go ahead and start ranting about how you want Jill to treat you. We got to keep it PG at the moment. By the way, they're going to meet here at 5.15 p.m. in the same spot later this afternoon. That's right, Joe. Seems like you and your wife have some talking to do in private regarding about your treatment preferences. You should do that later, bro. Didn't know you were a bottom. That seemed very much obvious to me, and I don't think it's because I am too. I mean, it's very obvious, Barack. Anyways, why the hell are there so many students here? Too much. They can be used as a distraction later on. This is just a normal day here in Japan, Donald. Don't forget that this is not in our graceful country. That is why people is always at the locker area when they first come in the place. Did you really have to baby explain everything about this game to me, Joe? Really, to me, the greatest and the smartest human alive? I can't believe your audacity. I won't forget this, but for now, we have better things to attend to. But you really can't deny the fact that this place is actually very pretty. The park and even the hallways and the classrooms they have looks very eye-catching. I might have to go on a diplomatic trip here on Japan. I mean, that is pretty true, Barack. They have the Donald approval. Let them know that their school is a big W. Anyways, we have better things to do. I gotta set my plan in motion. That is true. How could I forget that pink-haired bitch is trying to steal my senpai from me? I got to do all what it takes for her to get away from him. This guy might do the trick. Uh, what was I about to make him say again? I think we just need to use our suitor as a distraction at the moment, Joe. Then we can do things while he distracts her. If luck is in our favor, then she might fall in love with our suitor, then we can swap. Swap is such a funny word to say to this situation. Not that it's lacking and weird to listen to, but it describes what we want perfectly. But I don't want to swap with her because Senpai has never been hers. That is so true. Why the hell would I want to agree into swapping with her? Senpai is all mine and I know that. I even wear the thongs I bought yesterday just in case Senpai might want to take a peek. Whoa, that is coming off as a little bit too aggressive there, Joe, and keep it PG. We don't want to know all the details about your effort in trying to seduce our beloved senpai. Not that we don't recommend you to wear it, Joe. Just keep it low-key before that pink-haired bitch hears our plan and she decides to do that for herself. I can't wait to lay my plans accordingly, then watch it all happen. There she is. Why don't we try and talk with her? Oh my God, it doesn't let us talk. What the hell is her problem? Is she trying to ignore us or something? Has she caught onto our plans? Come on, we just need to talk to you and find out about things. Forget it. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't even consider you as my rival. 
All I have to do is spy on you, and now I got to know where you sit during classes. We just have to wait till you get out of here, and then we can move. Ha, 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 ha. You're sounding more and more like the psychopathic bitch we're imitating right now, Joe. And I like it. This is how we should act. And I already stole the borrowed book. No way will you be meeting Senpai today. Wait since she's gone now. Why don't we gather some kind of intel out of here, like the books she reads and the diary she has? Oh, wait. We can plant some contrabands that she doesn't have. This is so evil, and I like it. The variety of choices that we have is amazing. I can't wait to put something in her bag and frame her to the student council's committee when they end up checking the students' bags. Wait, guys, I just stole her bento and it said that we can put the bento back to her bag, but with something in it. Does that mean we can poison the shit out of her? That actually sounds like a good plan. Did you even take chemistry classes back in the day, Joe? Because I did, so leave the mixing of chemicals to me. And how did you even know that bento is her lunchbox? We'll hide it under her food and rice so she doesn't notice anything. Who would have suspected that graduating from a prestige school would lead you to doing this? I guess it all paid very well to us because of that we have the knowledge to save our senpai from another female. Of course, maybe this is the true purpose of me taking classes back in the days and bribing my classmates for the answer sheets. I mean, I didn't do that, but now I have an idea on what to do. Let's just go back inside and take our class. Wasn't biology the subject for studying what we need to do? The one where we need to make the narcotics or the drugs, right? Oh wait, was it chemistry? I think I still chose the right one. <laughs> I am convinced now, Joe, that you really are a lucky bastard. I can't believe you didn't have the knowledge about what was what and you still got the right one. I was about to roast you so hard that you'd end up crying, but never mind. Wait, I think we can go ahead and talk to her now. Yeah. Uh, what will be we talking about? Let's actually find out some intel out of her by gossiping on what and what she doesn't like. So she loves eating her food, then she loves socializing too. Well, I just know that Senpai doesn't like anything about you, so just give up and don't ever get close to him ever again. Got that? Let's find out more about her. We can use this to our advantage. Hey, pink-haired girl or woman or whatever should I call you. I don't consider you my rival. And do you like poop by any chance? We can talk about what she likes and get a good response, or we can make her uncomfortable, but I doubt that would be useful to us because she might be wary on stuff, and that might spoil our plans from now on. Can we try and maybe gossiping about certain people? Senpai might be one of the list of the people that we can gossip, but I don't want to talk about him with her because depending on how she reacts, I might punch or slap her. Whoa, whoa, chill out, Donald. You really are getting into the role play all too well. I might start wondering if this is how you really are to Melania Donald. Ha ha! That is a bit concerning. If that is how you see me, Barack, then that means that my acting is a little bit over the top and I am glad. I took theater classes back in the day and that is how I got this good. I use this to manipulate people. I mean, win the hearts of the citizens. I don't really think that you should be proud of the fact that you went to a theater class, Donald. I might be a forgetful ice cream loving guy, but I saw you play as a tree on stage. Tree A, right next to tree B. I thought I got rid of the people who knew that. You better shut the fuck up, Joe. That isn't true, and you should not tell anyone about this or something bad might happen to you. Got that? Ha ha ha. I didn't even know that, and now I do. Thank you for not even trying to deny that fact, Donald. I have now another intel to blackmail you for if you do something bad to me, and we unlock the skill to find a lethal poison, guys. It said we can make one by combining mustard and salt. How the hell are we supposed to find those? Maybe in the cafeteria. But isn't lunchtime over? How can we make her eat her <laughs> bento again? Oh yeah, that's right. How the hell would we even do that now? We have no time and lunchtime has already passed. We'll just have to improvise. Maybe we can tell Senpai and her to both have dinner with her bento or something. Yeah, that would work. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Who the hell are these guys? Do you think you're cool, dumbass? Can't wait to give you a walloping punch. You better be thankful that I am just a helpless girl that loves her senpai right now. Was those people from the student council? That should have been sexual harassment. Play that clip back and have that boy surrounded by task forces and sentence him for eternal years to serve in prison. I don't think you know what sexual harassment is, Joe. And I can't believe that you're using your authority to do that. Ha ha. Presidency doesn't work this way, Joe. You should attend a seminar of some sort. We have to hurry up while we still have time. They're about to meet at 5 p.m. It's still cleaning time, so we have enough time to make a move and get our plan rolling. 
I wonder if people in Japan really have these kind of school within the city because this place is massive. I could get lost trying to find the ice cream vendor in the cafeteria in this place. I don't think the school structure in the vicinity of this school have to do something with how dumb you really are, Sleepy Joe. It's not their fault that you keep on forgetting stuff. For now, let's roam around and find some worthy people that can be entrusted with the reason for our cause and have them help or be an accomplice to what we're about to do. This school is really big. I get what you're trying to say now, Joe, but that doesn't change the fact that you're stupid. And where the hell is that pink-haired bitch at? I have to find her before she meets with Senpai behind my back. I lost her already. We should just hurry up and find some mustard and salt. That way we can get this shit over with. They won't meet together in the same place and we get to live happily ever after. I wonder why this girl is afraid of rejection. Does her senpai even know that she likes him? Or is she just secretly stalking him from afar? That is really weird, but I don't think she has something to be worried about. Are you implying, Barack, that she has a good figure of a woman and she has nothing to worry about? And that she should just go ahead and shoot her shot? Michael certainly wouldn't feel right when she sees this. Hey, yo, shut the fuck up, Donald, and don't tell anyone about what I said. You just made that up, and no way would she ever believe that. I won't die from old age or diseases. I'm gonna die from your stupid ass. You're gonna end up killing me. Haha, -ha, never have I ever seen Barack this nervous about something that might get leaked. I guess you really are the woman in the house, Barack. I mean, the man in the house, as you keep on saying. Ooh, just shut up, Joe. You're still a bottom. I don't talk to bottoms, and yeah, my spider senses are tingling. I am so glad that this girl has the ability to sense other people around her, which is impossible. I wished I had that powers. That would be super useful, and this is just so unfair. Wall hacks would be too overpowered for me, and I just know it. I would pay a million bucks just to have it. I should give that project to the NASA employees. I want it. That would be super useful for me as the president of our graceful country, because that would save me so much time just trying to find the ice cream vendor in the city. Haha, <laughs> what the fuck, Joe? As expected, hypothetically speaking. If this was a superpower that had been vested upon you for a greater cause, then you would have just used it to find ice cream vendors in the city. If I found out about that bullshit, then I would have slapped you so hard with an ice cream cone that it would turn you to the flavor you love the most. You would be the most useless superhero that would exist if that were true. I don't care about your opinion, so shut the fuck up, because finding ice creams across the city is for the greater cause. People would thank me, and I just can imagine the feeling of the satisfaction. I don't think they would sleepy Joe, so stop daydreaming and wake the fuck up already because we have a pink-haired bitch to sabotage before she makes a move to our beloved senpai. She's still staying in the classroom because it is cleaning time. I don't think we can plant the bento box because it is past lunchtime. We have to do something quick. Time is ticking. We have to make a separate backup plan for this matter before we end up failing. I would rather die than seeing those two meet up in that place. You know what? I should just plant a C4 and detonate it later on. That is actually a great idea. People would think that terrorist is attacking the school campus though, but I don't care. Just so that they can't meet together. I would love to see that happen. You two are really getting into it way too well. You might even consider launching a nuclear missile just to prevent them both from meeting up. That is way too messed up. I mean, if I have to, then I wouldn't hesitate in doing so. I have the nuclear launch codes right here, and I am ready to strike within the vicinity and have Senpai rescue me. Yeah, like that would work. He'd just leave you be there because he'd be busy saving himself. And I doubt that he even knows you, Joe, so just give up that plan already. If that is the case, then we just have to let him know slowly but surely. I just time skip 30 minutes into the game and gain study points. How smart would I get if I just keep doing that? Breaking news? Did Donald really just found a reality gaming bug that would give him infinite study points by studying for 30 minutes? Wait till you see more and find out for yourself. <laughs> Since when did you work as a reporter, Barack? I guess you really are getting bored. We just have to trust the process, Barack, and <laughs> wait till we get it all sorted out. You got it all wrong, Joe. I am not bored. I just love to make fun of Donald as a news reporter because it makes him all tingly and shit thinking he's gonna get interviewed by the media. Of course, why wouldn't I not want that? That is a huge opportunity for me to showcase my beautiful face as the greatest human alive and as a candidate for president in the next upcoming election. I don't think everybody thinks that way, Donald, and I doubt that you're gonna win against me. I won last time and I sure can beat you all over again, so just give up now while you can. 
Did you really think that you did something sleepy, Joe? Did you really just try and threaten me knowing damn well that wouldn't work? Wake up, Joe, because I'm gonna dethrone you when it comes. Remember that. Shh, enough chit chat, boys. Our pinky Sakura girl is here. She's in a group of new girls and they might be her friends. This would make it very hard for us to approach her this time. Wait, I think that is our suitor right there. We can try and use him as bait this time. We can use him as a distraction and I hope he does his job. If not, then I'm giving him to Jeff Bozo. That explains a lot, Donald. You learn from the best. The best in exploiting people is Jeff Bozo. I can't believe I didn't figure that at first. That's why you've gotten so good in manipulating people. Oh, thank you, Joe. Although he did give me some advice in manipulating human people around your environment, but happy to say that this is just a natural inborn talent of mine. I don't think that you should be happy about that, Donald. And I can't believe that you took that as a compliment. Loud and proud, too. What a shame. Anyways, we have to do something about her ASAP. Oh, wait. Did she just really rejected our choice to court you? You'd be lucky enough that someone is actually trying to get to know you. Ungrateful woman, I'm so this is why no one cold. likes you. I've been okay, like this ever since I was a Now this gives us a chance to commence a new operation what? that would help us get closer and sabotage her and Senpai, begin operation, get popular in the school. One of her friends wanted a scarf, and right now we're currently at negative one point in the reputation area. We have to up our game, seriously. Giving her the scarf that she needs might give us a bonus point. Now I'm seriously gonna start cooking. Oh wait, cooking isn't best suited for the occasion. Maybe start sewing? I don't know. But I'm really fired up for this operation. I won't let Senpai down. I think we're currently making it. Oh, is it finished? Really that quickly? I can't believe it. Does it really take less time to sew than how I thought it would? And yeah, of course you would be fired up with this operation, Joe. Oh we did God. it. It seems like she was happy with what we did. Now we're on our way to becoming the most popular kid in the campus. And what the hell do you mean by that, Donald? You better be not kidding me. Frankly speaking, this operation gives you the chance to do what you could have never done back in high school, which has become the most popular kid in school. I knew you had a bad reputation before, bro. Oh my God. Did you just really roast Joe like that, Donald? Come on, everyone has his little own secret. That would be a 9999999999 critical hit, and I just know it. Who cares? I'm just telling the truth, and telling the truth would never be bad especially coming from the greatest person alive in the whole galaxy. Let's just continue the operation. Shut the fuck up, Donald, before I tell everybody in the world what I found under your drawer when you last invited me to your damn bedroom. And it was a, uh, what was I talking about again? Hugh, that actually kind of saved me. Thank you so much, you Mr. Dementia disease that inhabited Joe's brain cells. I would pay you in cash, but I can't so have a feast in his brain as my thanks. I was actually curious on what he found in that drawer, Donald. That was bad timing. But no worries, I'll find out for myself. But for now, we have to focus on getting popular. We have to find a meal for that girl over there. To improve efficiency on what we're doing right now, we just gather intel on what they want and do it at the same time. That would save us the troubles that we have to go through. That would work and don't worry. I remembered what they want from us. One wants a chicken McFlurry Sunday with a vanilla ice cream on top of the chicken and the boy wants a bucket of newspaper. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Shut up, Joe, before I end up forgetting what they really want by you overwriting my damn memories with your nonsense orders. For now, we get the girl her lunch and grab the flyers afterwards. We have the meal ready and we have less than an hour left for us to end this operation with a big success. If we don't do it, then in about an hour, they're going to meet and we can't let that happen. No! Senpai is mine, all mine, and mine only, so don't she dare try and get close to my dream of a prince charming. What else do we need again? Flies or what was it? Newspapers or something, I'm on it. How can you even get this right, Joe, when you don't even know what to get this time? And wait, let me try something. So socializing with people about what they like also gives you a plus points in reputation. That's good. But if you get it wrong, then your reputation must go down too. So make sure to socialize only to those people who you are sure about what they really like. We can't risk our reputation on this one. Of course, and let me do it this time. I'm about to get that boy a bunch of flyers to the point that he'd be in love with me. He's so gonna be mesmerized and then I'm gonna be so popular that Senpai won't be able to take his eyes off me. If only it were that easy, Joe, then we wouldn't have thought about doing this roundabout way of confessing our love for him. 
We should be given an option for a direct confession. That would be the best. I mean, logically speaking, Barack, you are way beyond right, but I can't stand the idea of getting rejected by the person I love. So I must prevent everyone else from falling in love with him. He's mine. Yeah, I should have never just opened up that idea. We all are afraid. I mean, who wouldn't be afraid to confess? People who aren't afraid to confess are either sure that they will be loved too or they already accepted the fact. Well, I don't want to think about the possibility of getting rejected. As of the moment, I'm kind of insecure on how I look. So if I can't have him, then no one can. I'm so sorry for you, pink girl. I don't think this is a matter of insecurities anymore. We're just psychos that's trying to win his love for us in a way that he has no reason not to accept it, and I am digging it. I love this kind of romance. You do know that I am just acting right, and if both of y'all are enjoying this, then you're just as guilty as this character in this game. Don't tell me that you would actually do stuff like this. Why the hell would you not do it, Donald? I mean, of course we're both just acting, Donald. Ha ha, how could you not tell? Anyways, this girl is needs some kind of medication that will help alleviate what she's feeling in her head right now. Gladly, the nurse's clinic or infirmary is close to where we currently are right now, so we can just go ahead and ask for some. Just give us what we need, Doc, and we'll be on our way. Well, that was an easy get. If we could do it, no problem, then why the hell are these people not able to? You guys are not even disabled, and you can't even do what you need to. On the other hand, we're currently five points in the good side of the reputation area. This is going great. We just need to keep up the pace that we're doing and we'll be good to go. We just need five more and then we can get to interact with Ms. Sakura right there. Sakura is the pink haired girl, by the way, if you guys didn't catch on. It's getting annoying calling her the pink haired bitch all the time. Oh, so that's what we're going to call her now. That's fine with me. Miss Sakura is not going to get my beloved senpai. She'll never get close to him ever again. As long as I am breathing, I'll make sure of that. You mean we are breathing, Joe? You don't mean to exclude us, didn't you? But that's fine. She ain't getting any progress with him ever again. And I'm going to make sure of that. Let's check out the place that they're supposed to meet. Wasn't this the place? This is actually a weird spot to meet in later this afternoon. Oh, wait, who the hell is that creepy looking guy? Is that a detective or something? Uh, nothing to see I here, sir. Oh, wait, shit. He just spoke to us. What the hell do you mean? Uh, I mean nothing, sir. I am just a normal, precious student in this beloved high school institution. Nothing more, nothing less goodbye now. What the hell is he even doing out here? Don't tell me he's going to be camping the same spot as I am too later this afternoon. What even are you? You're so sketchy, dude. Fine. Just leave us alone and we'll leave you too. That was a weird interaction. Maybe he was the guard of the school, and it's his job to make sure nothing I, bad I happens like in the academy. I I wish I had learned. Not that we Why? care. Let's just continue on getting popular. That's a good idea, Barack. I wouldn't have to agree more with you on that. I just got the same tasks as we got last time. Make a scarf, but the second is to paint. Heck, do we even have the skill to do that? No time to sit around and find out Donald. We have a little bit of time left before they end up meeting with Senpai. And I am not sticking around to find out what happens to them when she confesses. For now, let's just make the scarf just like how we did before Bada Bomb Bada Bim. We got it now, we just have to improve that other girl's painting. Can we even do that? As far as I know, I can only draw stickmans. You're not wrong about that, Barack. Even I can just draw what I could at the moment. Art hasn't really been my forte. Oh my God. Not that it would make me a less of a person being the greatest human alive. So you guys suck at art? I took art classes back in the day, and I think I got the lowest mark for drawing stickmans. I was proud of that, and never would I be ashamed of that fact. I think you got yourself mixed up with the word proud and ashamed, Joe. So none of us knows how to fucking draw. Well, this is a bad sign, but maybe this character has the ability to do so. Let's find out. Becoming popular really isn't that easy as it's supposed to be, huh? In the movies, it just takes one smile and a gaze for all the girls to be falling down on their knees. I guess that was fake. I don't really think so, Joe, because as far as I remember, that's what happened to me back in my junior to sophomore years. And all the shoddies were in my DMs back in that time. Now you're just making some stuff up, Donald. I know damn well you didn't just say that. Ha ha. I knew you ain't got yourself some guy at and those shoddies wasn't in your DMs. Believe what you want, Barack, but I even have Michael in my DMs. But I didn't talk to her because she wasn't my type back in the day. Anyways, back to becoming a very popular student in school operation. Ooh! 
The one we're doing right now takes some balls to do. He said that they got a confiscated erotic magazine in the students' council offices and we have to bring it back. Don't mind if I, yes. Ahem, ahem, not saying that we shouldn't return it to them when we find it, but it doesn't matter how long it takes for us to return it, right? He didn't say we have to return it urgently. I can't believe that both of y'all are in conspiracy of taking the erotic magazine for your damn selves. I can't believe I'm stuck while working with you two. As long as you let me borrow, I won't snitch. Shh, commence operation, bring back the erotic magazine and take it from the student council. Begin. We have to quietly take it from them and who knows what we'll do when we have it in our hands. Shit, shit, run. They noticed us run, run, run. This might be a hard thing to do because they're all inside and they're having a meeting. We'll have to do this the next day. We can't risk it. Yeah, I agree with you this time, Sleepy Joe. Let's just try and become popular with this girl instead. We have a little bit of time left and we're still not popular enough. Let's ask what she wants. She better have something for us that is easy to do, unlike the other one. Although I kind of hope to see it with my own two eyes, too. But it was too risky. Who knows what'll happen if we get caught and Sakura and Senpai gets to meet. Yeah, hell no. Ain't no way would I let that happen. Anyways, what can I help you with my beloved schoolmate? So and don't think that I am doing this for you because I am doing this for Senpai. Looks like we have to really? do her assignment to gain another point in becoming popular. This is way too tedious. I don't ever want to get popular if I have to do it this way. Glad that I was born a natural. She said to do it in the library. Glad that it was close oh to us God. and I have finished it. Take this, you irresponsible freak. How could you even trust us to make your answers? <sighs> Who knows if I, what I, I wrote was correct, what? aha. We're only two points away from talking to her and we have no time left. We have to move quick before they meet with each other in the said spot and the said time. Shit, I gotta get popular fast. If getting popular would really be this quick, then everyone would have been popular by now. Anyways, just hurry up and tell us what you want for me to do it for you since y'all have no legs. This one is the same as before. Why can't they do their own assignments? Just let me do this one in the library fast. I think I got the gist of it and don't blame me if she got the wrong answers. I'd honestly do this for some extra dough, but right now I wouldn't even think about doing it because we get paid with popularity points and that won't make us a living. Yeah, but right now I don't really find the essence of living if I'm living in the world without Senpai. This just sucks ass if I can't get to live with him. If I shared the roof with him, I'd be a housewife, so he has to do the work to he. Whoa, did you just to he me, Joe? You did not just do that. What the hell is wrong with you? I think you're inhabiting the character that you're currently cosplaying Sleepy Joe. This is what happens if you eat a lot of ice creams per day and sit all day, watch the same fucking show over and over again and play games in his teleprompter. The definition of going insane day by day. Oh, shut up. I don't even judge how the fuck you live your life by eating those McFlurries from McDonald's and all those Dunkin's Donuts you eat every single day. So shut up and leave my life alone. Shh. Enough fighting. We got to get popular. This guy needs an orange juice, so why don't we silently and peacefully find one for him? That would be the best thing to do. I don't want to be a lapdog anymore. I feel like I am a K-9 out in the battlefield just gathering intel and listening to the orders that's been given to me. Oh, wait. We have 10 popularity points already. We don't have to do this anymore. Oh, I didn't even notice. That is good. That means that we can speak to that girl now. But since we're at it already, why don't we go ahead and take this juice to that guy earlier? Don't get me wrong, Senpai is still my choice. Okay. You really should have stayed inside the closet, Joe, because this game is bringing the estrogen side of you and literally the dark side of the moon. Ha ha. I can't protect you anymore, Joe. Who cares? As long as I get to live in the world with my handsome and dashing, oh, so Senpai, it's what matters. And please don't let everyone know about this. This is just a game, I swear. Too late, Joe. I just sent the exclusive footage that we have about you doing the same thing, but in a different manner to Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. It's about time you get canceled. Shh, that's not important right now. It's almost time and we are here already. It's time to spy on what they're about to do this time. We're already popular enough, now we just sit back and wait. I think we're too early at the moment, but who cares? We just have to camp here. It's better early than never. Isn't that what they say? when they get too early and they have to justify their actions? I think you got it all mixed up, Joe. It was, it's better late than never, ha ha. When have you had the audacity to make your own nonsense of a caption or line, Joe, ha ha. That was so stupid to listen to. 
Maybe all the quote he has read so far is from Reddit or something. That would actually explain a lot, but that would actually be concerning because that would mean they have said nonsense in that platform. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 shut up, guys. How about we just keep quiet and think about all the ice creams we possibly can eat with our mouths, including the variety of flavors while we wait for senpai and our target. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why does it always have to be ice creams, Joe, when you can think of all the walls you can build when you get to be the president? Just look at the walls they have here. I'd rate it four out of 10. I am utterly convinced that all of you are sick and are in need of dire medical assistance to become sane again. Why don't you shut up and think of how your life would be when you're with your wife in the kitchen? Shut up, simp. That would only apply to you, and we're not as dumb as you are. I guess that would happen to the man of the house, or should I say the man of the kitchen counter? That is in no way relatable, Barack. I thought you suggested something better than ours, but what you said was worse than what we came up with. You're such a simp, and I know you are. Oh, shut up. Since when did you even think that thinking about walls and ice creams would be a good thing to do just for time to pass by? And it's about time they meet. We should check it out. Maybe something happened. Oh, no. Maybe that bitch seduced Senpai and they're in a private place right now. Don't tell me I got baited because she knew I was listening to them meeting in that place later on this afternoon. We have to find them fast. Agreed. We should just hurry up and find them before we find out what they're up to right now. Oh, wait. It's almost the meeting time, and I think the students are all on their way to going home. Let's just it's wait in the spot. Me. Oh, shut up, Mr. Policeman. I don't want anything to do with you, so you better get the hell away from us, or we'll report this to your higher up and sue you. We have better spying, I mean matters to settle. Oh, Mrs. Sakura, or that pink-haired gal, is coming to the said spot. I wonder what the heck is going to happen now. I just hope that they don't get to be in the stage of being in good terms. I actually understand why Senpai doesn't love you in any way whatsoever, Joe. It's that stinking ice cream breath of yours. You really have to see a dentist at that point. And shh, let's hide and wait. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see this, but at the same time, I don't want to imagine what's going to happen next. I don't want to look, but I can't stop looking. Let me spy on them properly. Shh, guys. Shut up! She's speaking right now, and with all this yapping, I can't hear her. Oh wait, I think it worked. Us stealing the book worked out in the end. No one would believe such a lie. Hell yeah! I've never been happier with my life. Aside from that time I was introduced to the vanilla flavored pineapple pizza ice cream back when I was in the fourth grade. This is going very well. I bet our beloved senpai is thinking to himself that this girl is a clumsy ass, good for nothing student. She would not stand a chance to our Joe right here with 12 points of being popular. Damn, that was the right plan to do. It was a book that cannot be replaced, even if she bought a new one because it was a gift. Ha ha, that pink-haired girl is in Senpai's naughty list now. Oh wait, what? She's in the naughty list of Senpai now. I want to be in his naughty list too, if you know what I mean. Ha ha, you will never get close to him ever again, you bitch. Chill out, Sleepy Joe. Time to call it a day. It was kind of guilt or heart-wrenching for me because she never lost the book. We just stole it, but anything for our beloved senpai. Who cares? She deserves it. I always hated that bitch anyways. Look at our progress. We're already 20% in, and we have a little more to go before she gets completely rejected. So that means that we have at least about 100% more to do before she gets rejected. Phew, that is quite a lot. And it's Wednesday. That means it's Choco Vanilla Ice Cream Day for me. You know what, Joe? I can see why senpai never showed you any kind of attention. You can't even do math and percentages. Do you even know what probabilities are? This is such a mess. I mean, what the hell do you expect, Barack? It's your fault for expecting all of the good assets from him. Of course I am the real rival of Joe here. I mean, I don't even consider him a rival, but Senpai is gonna be all mine. Shut the fuck up, y'all. Of course I can do math. I can even count the multiples of two, and that would be the amount of punches that you'd be eating from my damn fist. Got that? Shh, now is not the time for arguments. Today is Wednesday and this gal is on her way to redeem herself from that embarrassing spot she dug herself in yesterday. We have to find out what they're gonna do. Try and try until you die, pink-haired schoolmate of mine. But ain't no way am I letting you spend more time than I could ever with my beloved dear senpai. Just try and meet later during lunch and you'll see what's coming. This is a bit sketchy. Senpai, just ignore her and focus all your attention on me, and I'm sure that would save you all the worries that she's going to give you. Trust me on this one. 
Shit, they're gonna meet later during lunchtime in the rooftop and details are yet to be said on what they're gonna do. We have to prevent them from meeting up, even if it means locking this gal over here. She probably thought all night about what she's going to be doing with Senpai this day. You guys have to be careful because we might have a formidable opponent. Not that she can outmatch me. That is way confident for you to say, Donald, and I like it. That overconfidence of yourself is surely going to be the end of you, but not that I care. We have to commence operation. Don't let them meet in the rooftop this time. Any ideas? I'm currently 11 points in the reputation or popularity level, and I think I can use that to command and assert dominance in the entire school and use other people to do my bidding. Now you're just going ahead and trying to mimic what Jeff Bozo's been doing the past few years of his lifetime. You can't exploit them, got it? Maybe you, Joe, any ideas on what we should do? I thought you weren't gonna ask, but of course I do. The president of the country always has a plan. We should just lock the rooftop and find a way to stall that girl from meeting him. Or we can just use a chair and smack her head from behind. Here I thought I was gonna hear some decent ideas about this particular scenario, but all I heard was nonsense. Here's what we should do. We should use our suitor and gather some intel about her. That sounds like a good plan to me. We can start by taking some precautions by misleading her with our suitor with useless conversation. Then we can swipe her bag again when she leaves it inside the classroom. I don't actually know what we're doing, but I am gonna pretend that I know what it is so that I'll look cooler than y'all. So don't snitch on me and play pretend. Oh yeah, guys, that sounds like a good plan to me too. The level of doubt and confusion in your head is as bright as day, Joe. You should just shut up and listen to what we have to say about this plan. Commence Operation FBI Gathering Intel. She's still on her way to our classroom. We still have time before she does something else. Let's just follow her lead. We might find a good amount of information in that diary of hers. She's about to leave her stuff here. There she goes, and what the hell is that? Is that a present? Don't tell me that is what she was going to give our beloved senpai. Oh, uh, uh, you don't get to do that. We can put shit inside the box too. That is a good sign. But I wonder what she's going to use it for. Time to swoop inside her bag and gather some information out of her. Wait, she has a dairy. Let's read it. This is it, boys. We're about to find out what she likes and what she doesn't like and all those personal information or preferences in this diary right here. Let's read it. Let me read it so that we can hurry up and get this over with. My best friend asked me about the five things I like, and these are cooking, music, gardening, cats, and socializing. The other five I dislike the most is about drama, occult, photography, violence, and solitude. Wait, there's something more in the last bit of her diary. Read the last stanza. It is about her most embarrassing secret, and that is she accidentally killed her best friend's cat by feeding it something bad. Oh my God, a pet murderer. She also said that she can't sleep at night. I keep worrying about that evil photographer. Oh, what am I going to do? Don't tell me someone actually saw her do that and she's worrying about that. Looks like we have a lead. We can use those information we gathered. We can find that evil photographer and blackmail her with that picture. And is this the people she loves? Is this her type? Blay yucks. What a shame she doesn't have me in that magazine. Having you in that magazine, Donald, would change the whole purpose of writing its content. It would become top 10 worst jump scares of all time and the people that owns those faces. Ha ha, you'd be winning. Damn Donald, he just said it out loud that if it was a contest of people who were ugly that their faces would be considered as jump scares, then you would have won already. Personally, I wouldn't let that happen. Who the hell cares about you guys' damn opinion and shut the fuck up, Barack, because you're just trying to instigate a fight between us again because you're bored. How about you do something else? How would you know that, Donald? I was sure that I didn't show any signs of fatigue today. You really have a good eye. And I think Senpai does too. That's why you and Joe were never in the list of his interests. Hey, don't lump me with Donald. Senpai, of course, finds me very pretty, and I know that too well. I just know it. He can't deny that fact. I can't wait to make Senpai mine just a little bit more. I think you're becoming a little too obsessed, Joe. And it wouldn't hurt to take a break from time to time, because if this continue, I doubt that you would want to be Sleepy Joe again. You'd want to be a yandere psycho. Yeah, Joe, at this pace, you'd even go ahead and forget your identity, which I know that it's going to happen because you are that stupid. So please take a break this once before we go ahead and lose you. Stop worrying about me, guys. I just need a little bit of cold refreshing in my own bedroom, and then I am good to go. If I don't talk the following minutes, then I must be either asleep or eating ice cream silently. 
That would be really convenient if we knew what you were doing all the time while we can't see you, Joe. You're not cut out for this. Just let me handle Senpai on my own. Oh, I get where this is going. Do you think that I'm going to fall for your damn trap that easily? You can't have Senpai and mark my word on that? I know that for a fact, too. I wonder who the heck is more obsessed with Senpai at this point. I wonder how the heck you managed to do all this. Let's just proceed with our preparation so that we'll completely sabotage our rival. She should just go ahead and sabotage it herself and use her jigglypuffs as the method for the interaction. I am sure that if she sees that, then she may surrender. And of course, when Senpai sees it, he would be delighted. So we're calling those things as jigglypuffs from now on? Those shaking, those things that are attached and is supposedly called the masses of destruction that would end the human male kind one day. What the hell are you guys talking about? Is Jigglypuff another ice cream brand because I sure didn't hear about it? Is that very yummy or something? I hope it is. Do they have the pineapple ice cream extra special? Those are certainly not ice creams, Joe, and it is not an ice cream brand, but it is sure yummy. Anyways, we have successfully increased his courage stats. At this point, he would be able to do it. Did she just say that painting was haunted? That was why I was feeling the weird presences present in that room. I should have called those things. What were they again? Blockbusters? Yeah, I think so. I think you mean Ghostbusters, Joe. What the heck is wrong with you? Can you stop making shit up? You're gonna give everyone a new word that doesn't even coincide to what you mean. I can't believe that he's dementia really is still in the game. He doesn't even remember the famous group called Ghostbusters anymore. Anyways, we still have to gather more intel about her. Personally, I think we gathered what we can. We just have to find the lead on what she said was an evil photographer or something. I don't think someone would have been able to sneak a picture during that moment, but who knows? You mean that time when she fed the cat a bad food and it died? Yeah. I'm going to find the evidences she left in that crime scene and Biden blast the fuck out of her when I see her. For now, why don't we try and get more popular and get to know what these gang people do? They might be able to help us with our goals. Oh, wait. What the fuck did I just got ourselves into? <laughs> This is bad. Wait, what? I didn't know that you can fight in this game and are we really accepting this? How the hell can we even fight back to a local gang? We won't stand a chance. <laughs> I want to go home. Fuck it. I guess we're about to find out. And take it like this, Joe. If we fight those local gang and manage to win, then that means we have what it takes to beat the shit out of that bitch. Oh, is that what the purpose of accepting that request was? Then if that is the case, then I can just train myself against that local gang he just talked about. I got this shit. Still, we have to be careful because losing to that fight that we just accepted might mean that we have to start this run all over again. And we don't want that to happen, don't we? Stop being a worry wart, Barack, and relax. Not all of the gang members need a fight to be settled for us to become popular. This one just wants a scar, and I think I remember how to make one. Oh, wait, I forgot. So we have a fight this coming afternoon. Later, I think it was 3.30 p.m. That means we have to leave the campus after classes so that we can go ahead and finish that task. I am so excited to beat them into pulps. For now, we just have to prepare ourselves and do a time skip so that we can go ahead and get that shit done with. We can do this, I believe in us. Let's just grind some points like usual. Nothing much to do and see over here. We have a proficiency level of one in the subject chemistry. I wonder what kind of drugs we can produce now. This might be a useful skill, to be honest. Of course it is, Donald. I wonder when we're going to make one, though, so that we can give it as a gift to our beloved rival over there when she decides to eat her damn bento. Shh, I'm reading the benefits of each subject, and right now I still think that chemistry is the best one to study for. We can use it for many occasions, and that just proves how flexy it is. I was reading some of the bit you scrolled over, too, and I found them useless, too. I agree with you on that part, Donald. Oh, wait. Doesn't it end at 1 p.m. when you start to attend class? Holy shit, it does. What the hell is wrong with this game? Why is 1 p.m. their afternoon break? It's their goddamn lunchtime, and it doesn't make any sense. That might mean they've met already. Fine, I'll just go back to my desk. Dumbass. That means this class is going to time skip to 3.30 p.m. now. See, we missed them. They probably met in the damn rooftop while we were here studying some useless psychology assets. I kind of agree, and I am low-key thankful to what Joe did, but I don't think we needed it at this moment. Like, we didn't have to have those skills or points. We just had to focus in sabotaging our rival, and we messed that up, too. I knew I shouldn't have invited Joe into playing with us in this game, Barack. I can't believe it. 
Don't tell me that the success rate of her being accepted into a relationship went up because of this. <laughs> hey, sorry, boys. I didn't know the usual lunch break occurs in the afternoon, right? Or like more specifically, 12 p.m. So that's why I assumed that they would have went and met already. If you did all your calculations right before doing that, Joe, then does that mean you also calculated this fist that is about to bust through your face when we meet again because of your stupid decisions, huh? Oh, what a letdown. It's you. Anyways, this is a chance to prove ourselves. I guess this was also one of the reasons why partially we felt happy on what Joe did. We have to find out how combat works in this game. Agreed. Can't really blame that on you, Joe, so don't mind it. Just be careful on what you do next time. I'll just take all of this stress out on some thugs outside this damn school. Take me to them. Thank you, Donald. And yeah, I am kind of curious too on how we do on this, guys. Because if we do good, then that means I can just beat the shit out of her. With that, she won't be getting close to Senpai ever again. I mean, you aren't wrong about that. If you think about it, it kind of is one way of keeping her from going to the rooftop. Although I don't recommend violence unless it is an emergency. Enough of that. I can't find them with my spider sense. I've been using this for the past hour and I can't get nothing. Where the hell have they gone off to? We really can't turn back time now, can't we? Maybe I should just go ahead and use my FBI network and find the email address of Thanos and let him hand me the Infinity Stones, was it called? And give me the Time Stones so we can snap the shit out of them. Yeah, this game has made you go insane, Joe. You can't even distinguish the difference of reality and a Marvel Universe movie. You should really take a day off after we're done with this. Day offs are for the week, and I appreciate your concern, Barack, but I am doing all of this for my beloved senpai. So don't stop me and stop getting in my way. Got that? Since we can't find them, let's just go ahead and do these guys' request. This better be worth a lot of damn popularity points. Forget that. Yep. I want you all to work are. for me, so I can right use you anytime switch. I want. You better oh, leave shit. Looks hey, like we're here. Get ready, gonna boys, because we're going to get ourselves in a big fight. They'll kick Time for ass. these guys to learn Kung Fu and Muay Thai. <sighs> They're, They're not going to see this coming. Here Shut they up, come. boy. Save your worries for someone else, like Joe over there. Oh, is this the guys that threatened you? Just five of them. You must have been underestimating the greatest human alive. This is such a joke. Time to show these guys what I learned from Jackie Chan when we met somewhere in China back then. <laughs> you guys are going to regret this. This are the moves that made LeBron cry. We can win this. We just have to look out for their moves. It can be seen from that red covered area down on the ground. That indicates their next move. So keep your eyes peeled and your body moving. See that? None of them can touch me. This is how you beat this pimps out in the slums, Joe. Take notes of my moves because these might come in handy for you someday. I will. I hope these moves will save the ice cream vendors downtown from violent groups like this guy when I show them what I learned from you guys. They are so going to get it when we finish this set. You should just go ahead and call the cops when that situation happens, Joe. And yes, spamming button seems to be working too. We just have to take care of the last of them. I actually didn't expect that fights would exist in this game. Our character has got them moves that made Steph Curry and LeBron James cry. We have to make use of this in school. He's the last one. Leave him to me. Ah! Take that, you scum. And don't ever get close to my favorite vanilla ice cream pineapple vendor selling downtown ever again. Phew! That was sweaty. I've, That's it. I I've love never that seen reaction. Like that before. You should praise the god inside yeah. me for working those Not moves human. to them punks. <laughs> That's what it means <laughs> to be the greatest today, gamer alive I in the world. Won't have to worry about we did a good job, anymore. guys. We worked hard for that, if so we deserve a break. In, though, we worked quite some sweat back there. I me. didn't know we were packing those moves. I... We can't be worried about men trying to hit on us from <laughs> I now I owe you on. my life. Wait, he's thanking us for saving no him from those punks. No problem, bro. Just, Just be careful back there. I know you're wrong about that. Someone else you can simply pay me back by giving me a truckload of ice cream. Oh, he's wait. He said that his brother's got some connections. I wonder what connections does his brother really have. This is getting quite serious, and I love where this is going. Deep down the underworld. tell him to hook you up. This sounds great. you want. Then that means we After can get that, what we want we'll from that scored. guy and possibly right. use it to disrupt what our rival okay. is doing to our beloved senpai. Thanks again. This smells like progress. Oh, so progress smells like this, huh? And I wonder what connections does his brother have? He might be connected to the NASA intercoms or something. That would be such a strong Wi-Fi. What the fuck? You don't have to take everything seriously, Joe. It meant that he has some personal connections that could help us with what we want, not Wi-Fis. Don't take everything literally. Learn some paradox or literary works. Wait, I didn't know that there are a couple of places that we could go to during this time of night. 
There is a lot of part-time jobs that we can do too. Are we going to work for some dough? No, now is not the time for that. Indeed, money is the source of happiness, but I am more intrigued about what his brother has for us. We have to meet him now and see it for ourselves. This is quite a small town, and I was expecting something bigger. I guess we won't have enough places to explore in. Where the hell are we even supposed to find his brother? He should have told us earlier. If I was a guy that had a little brother and I have a lot of connections in my name, where the hell would I be? Ah, uh, here it I'm is. Not going to give you the my dark name. and mysterious You're creepy alley that would serve as my the base of trading about transactions. Each other, the better. As soon as we're done here, you're going to forget my face and forget that this conversation ever happened. Got it? Understood. My brother owes you a debt that he could never repay. I'm grateful that you pulled his ass out of the fire, but that doesn't make us friends. The less debts a man owes, the better. And I don't want my brother to owe anything to anyone. So I'm here to make things square between you and him. This is strictly business. So let's get to the chase. I brought some things with me that you might be interested in. Hurry up and pick the one that you want. What the fuck? No one told me that we would be meeting with a Yakuza. This guy means business. Please don't kill me. I have so much ice cream to live for. With this, and you kind of sound hot, by the way. <laughs> do we have an That was clear as day, Joe. We do. Good. No one would have that level of connections Smart. if he weren't the this boss the of the region. We even a Yakuza, like in other words. Just one thing about my brother. I want you to... Never mind. Forget I said anything. Well, he got us what we wanted, and we'll make sure to protect your little brother from now on. I didn't know that even a big brother could be this Sundari. It's also so that we can owe you more debts. That was scary, though he sounded really hot for a moment there, and I thought I was about to faint, but I managed to survive. I can't wait to meet him again. I mean not. Yeah, Joe, as if we didn't hear you just say that and simp for a Yakuza, a underworld boss. Don't tell me you forgot that you were the president. Seriously, I don't know what's wrong with you anymore. A lot. But for now, we have something more important to do. We finally got ourselves the narcotics that we've been finding a way to have. It's about time that we end this bullshit. I can't wait to give this as a present for my very dear rival that aims to have an intimate relationship with my senpai. No one can have him. No one. I can finally do what I always wanted to. We're here. I wonder what happened between them yesterday. Don't do that again, Joe, or I'll slap and beat your ass. Time to spy on them and know what they have to do for today's agenda. What? Did she just say movie? What the fuck? I should have never studied yesterday. This is not worth the knowledge I have acquired by spending time in the classroom. This is so wrong. No, I won't let you. Fuck. We have to move and get her out of the way today or else they're going to be ending up as a couple. And that would mean that I have failed. And Trump never fails. We have to do it or else. This is bad. I didn't know that skipping one of the event that they'd meet would end up as this. This isn't the result we were expecting. We should have just hid that box yesterday. Yeah, take that nap because Senpai asked you to do so. Just stop acting nice and do what you're told. Be grateful that he spent some time with you. I just messed up yesterday, that's all, and it's never gonna happen again. I know what we have to do, boys. We have to use this narcotics this time and have her expelled or make her use it. That is the goal of our operation for today. The question is how we're gonna do it. We have to find the right timing to do so and have her be in the crime scene. Yeah, that would work. I think I got an idea on how we're gonna do it. How about we just put it into her pocket when we walk right past each other and she wouldn't even notice? I saw that in a ninja movie and I thought I should try it because that looks so cool. Turn off your damn teleprompter when you have the time, Joe, because it's giving you false information of what's realistic and what's fake. Just leave this operation to me and everything would turn out fine. That's right, Joe. I'll be providing some assistance to ensure our success. <laughs> First things first, we have to wait for her to put her bag inside the classroom, as she always have every day when she gets to our room. That sounds like a plan. So we just have to stalk her all over again? Just like how we did in the past? This is looking good. Ooh, I can't wait to take you to the campus and have Senpai for myself. That string, that wasn't there before. I heard that in the Japanese's methodologies involved the red string of love. That means that there is forever going to be an invisible string that cannot be severed for those who loves each other. Fuck that. I am the only one who can love and who Senpai will love forever and I'm about to make sure of that. 
I am not going to make the same mistake ever again. You're done. You're out of the game. We did it. And she doesn't even have a clue in the world. We are so evil for doing this, but she deserves it. We have to cut that string off them, even if we have to use our own scissors. Time to call the police or the principal or anyone who has the authority to expel or exile a student out of the campus so that I will have Senpai all for myself. No one is going to take him away from me again. That's what I'm currently doing, Joe. No shit, Sherlock, so just sit tight and watch all of our plan fall together in the right place oh. and watch her go oh. down like a damn dumb. Hello there. Here he my, is. My, I think this is the principal of the here, school. Um, sir, we have something Care to tell to you. My classmate, that pink-haired girl, has something in her bag. Most and I think it's a contraband, really Mike checking it out? Sort of Wait, can we even can interact I, uh, with him? Help you with it's anything? not even letting us do so. I think something's wrong. We can't file a report to the principal. Then maybe the counselor will do something about this. Let's hurry. Yeah. Yeah, she might do something about it. Isn't that what the counselor is for? Ooh, I can't wait to see the face of that bitch. That's what she gets. If she didn't have to go ahead and fall in love with my senpai, then this wouldn't have happened. Consider it a compliment, Joe. Not everyone can stop themselves from falling in love with someone, even if this someone is someone that they can't have. Just look at you. Well, that only applies to me. Although senpai really is quite handsome. I won't just agree and sit back and relax while I know someone is trying to take him away from me. Ha ha, we're really the greatest hypocrites of love. This is so wrong and that's why it feels so right to do it. Can I help Here you? Here we are. Time to file a report that she has brought narcotics within the school premise. We did it. I wonder what's going to happen now. Is the FBI or the SWAT team going to bust in here and grab her and take her into custody? No. Uh, I would want that to happen. Let's hurry up and go back and see what's happening to her. Maybe she'll try and explain that she didn't have it. I was sure that there was no one else in that room, so we should be safe. Let's do a time skip and let's see what happens when we finish this class. We just have to work our way and get some skill points for what we might use later on. We'll use it to make Senpai fall in love with us. This is it. It's happening. What's happening? Oh, she's been caught. Ha ha. Finally, I'm glad she didn't have time to dispose of it. We would have been the one to explain what we claimed if that happened. She's trying to explain. Yes, you're being framed, but you can't do nothing about it. Ha ha. She's been expelled. This is the best day of my life. Now we can go ahead and see that movie, Senpai, with me this time. I kind of feel bad for doing this because we're politics and we serve the justice. So uh, please, this is just a game and we're not like this, I swear. She can't do nothing about this now. No one cares, Barack. This is just a game and we did what we had to. All those times grinding for popularity points, it was all worth it in the end. We deserve that. Now no one is in our way. Now we finally can go ahead and start our very own family. I would want a dozen children, Senpai, six males and six females. They would become the fruit of our love. I can't wait for that day to happen. I guess we did it. We have finally removed our very threat that would hinder our intimate romance with our senpai. Although we did it in the wrong method, but we did it. Results are the only thing we have to care about. This calls for a celebration, but really, Joe, a dozen of children. You can't bear more than one with that old body of yours. That's and good. I don't think you're just acting this. I'm just acting, guys. Chill the freak out. No way would I ever fall in love with our dear senpai, nor would that Yakuza male seduce my heart into thinking I was his. That would never happen. Yeah, as if we're gonna buy that, Joe. You should have said that you wanted to play this game in the first place because it reminded you of your first love. Ha ha. Of course that's why. I wanted to play this game with you guys because Japan was my first love. You should really finish your sentences, Barack, or you're gonna get me in trouble with Jill. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We'll just go ahead and go with that theory. And yeah, we unlocked an achievement. It's frame. I wonder what's going to happen now that we removed our rival. I'd like Do we to just have to work with our relationship with Senpai? Not here of course, and can we improve our relationship with this macho, hunky, that. mysterious man the right here? I mean, we should gather some intel because my FBI need evidences for us to arrest this man. Whoa, chill out, Joe, because your internal motives are leaking. And there is more to what this guy could offer to us. I can't believe it. We can do an abduction, but this must be quite joking. expensive. Shh, let this hunky macho Yakuza boss talk. Wow, they really have a whole Without thing going on way, around here. This must be nice. We can use this when face. someone else get close to our senpai again. Yeah, not now though. We only have like $130 in our pocket. We have to work harder for it to make it happen. Oh not that I want to, but if I must, then we have to do it just for safety precautions later on. But are we just gonna ignore how hot the voice for this leading actress is? 
I mean this psychopath. I didn't expect her voice to be such a mommy, if you know what I mean. I think Michael knows what you mean when he sees this video soon, huh, huh? Oh, wait, it's giving us a notification on what we should be doing next. Should we keep the grind going? Now we'll just proceed. I kind of want to level up our stats, though, for the sake of the upcoming events that we have to do. It might become useful later on, if you know what I mean. Stats or skill levels? Who cares about those bullshit? After what I care Michael, about is when I am going to I see Senpai and Michael what we're safe. about to do when we meet next time. <laughs> Shh, listen, but I think now, we have a new rival, a new I reason to meet those Yakuza's. I have a problem to deal with. Another girl is showing interest in him. A cute tomboy with a gung-ho attitude. Boys like that sort of girl, don't they? If he keeps spending time around her, she might steal his heart. I can't let that happen. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard a nasty rumor about her. Apparently, she has a... secret hobby. Something dangerous. Something she could get in big trouble for. It might be worth it to follow her around school and learn what she's hiding. Perhaps I can find a way to make her bad habits backfire on her. You know what they say. You play with fire, and you get burned. Oh my god. I wonder what habit she's talking about. I want to learn more about this game and that girl. This is getting more and more interesting. There is more to it than what we imagined. I can't wait to take that new rival out of the picture. We should find a different way of disposing her this time. I can't wait to make that happen. I can already imagine the look on her face. I agree, I'm excited too. But I have to take an emergency number two in the CR. Be right back, guys. Haha, <laughs> those must be the ice creams you ate. Goodbye for now, I guess. Yeah, goodbye, bud. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will nuke you as well.